Hey everyone, in this video, let's learn how to use Creative Extras instead of On One Effects 2023. So before we jump into how to use them, let me just give you the URL to our Creative Extras library on our website. It's just www.onone.com slash creative dash library. And you'll find a whole bunch of different extras in there from borders, textures, LUTs, brushes, you name it. There's a ton of amazing extras that you can download for free within that creative library there. So once you've downloaded your creative extras, it's really easy to import them into On One Effects. There's a couple of different ways that you can do it. The first way is to use your Extras Manager. To access the Extras Manager, we're gonna to go to our File menu, and we're gonna choose Manage Extras. In our Extras Manager here, we can modify and import our own extras into On One Effects. And we have all of these different categories that we can use for those specific extras that we import. Now let's first talk about the file types that are supported with these different extras. For backgrounds, these are backgrounds that you're going to be using inside of the layers pane to either swap a background out behind a subject or simply overlay a new background into the image. For backgrounds, use a JPEG as your file type. For borders, you're going to be wanting to use a PNG file that has the center of the border transparent so that you can see through to the image, yet you have that frame or that border wrapping around your, your scene. For textures, you're going to want to use a JPEG file type. This could include textures or overlays that you overlay on top of the scene. Again, for textures, use a JPEG file type. For LUTs, you can import cube files or .3dl files. So .cube files or .3dl files are accepted within On One Effects for LUTs. For brush shapes, you're going to be using .abr files to import your custom brush shapes into On One Effects. For sun flares, you're going to be using JPEG files. And for watermarks, you're going to be using PNG files so that you have the background behind your watermark transparent. So from there, within any of these different extras tabs, we can select import. This will pull up our computer's navigator or finder. We can then navigate to the specific overlays that we're looking to import. We can select them, we can open them, and we can add them in as their own category or we can add them into a category that we already have. So I've imported these light leak overlays into this category here, and you can see it will show you a preview of those light leak overlays or whatever overlay or texture that you import to the right-hand side of your categories. So let's quickly import some borders here. I'll go to import, I'll navigate to a specific download that I've downloaded from the website, which is just these, uh, where are they using extras, which are just these winter borders here. So I'll navigate to these. You can see they're all PNG files with that frame around the center of a transparent um, middle. We'll just choose open. I'll create a category for that, winter borders, choose okay. And we'll import these specific borders into On One Effects. The import job has processed 10 items. There were no errors, so everything looks good. We now have our borders here to the right. So that is how to access and import extras from the extras manager but you can also import extras from their specific filters, such as the borders filter, the LUTs filter, textures filter, so on and so forth. So let's add a filter here, and let's just add the LUTs filter. In filters that you can import your own extras, you'll have this import option there next to the categories and their menus. So inside of LUTs, we'll choose import. 
this will pull up our computer's navigator or finder within the extras manager there within that specific tab. So we can then use our computer's navigator or finder. And I'll just navigate to some LUTs that I downloaded. You can see their cube files, which are supported for LUTs. I'll just select all of those. I'll choose open. I'll create a new category here. I'll name them Matt LUTs. And I'll choose okay. It will import those into the program there. We close out of that. We can then go into our category menu here. And whenever we import our own custom extras, they're going to live at the very bottom below the default categories. So for LUTs, we have these four default categories at the top. And then below that, we have my LUTs. And this will be for any filter, whether it's your LUTs, your textures, borders, sun flares, um, any filter that you can import your own custom extra into, they're going to live at the bottom of your category menu. So we'll go into that imported category there, our mat LUTs. We can then use this LUT menu and we can navigate through these to see which one we like for the scene. And remember, instead of automatic effects, you can add as many of these custom filters that you want to. So if you want to add on a LUT, you want to add on a texture and then a border, you can easily do that. Just keep adding those filters on. So we'll add a filter. We'll add our textures here. Remember, I imported that category of light leaks. So we'll just head down to those light leak overlays. I'll grab those and we'll just see what works on the scene here. I really like this one. And I'm actually gonna go into the mode and I'm gonna choose lighter here and just pull back on the opacity a bit so it's not so intense. And then let's say we want a border. We can add a filter. We'll add our borders filter. And we'll go to category here. And I'm just going to go to these distress borders here. I don't know if the winter borders are going to look that great within this photograph. So I'll just go into one of my own imported categories, these distress borders here. And I'll just find one that looks decent within the frame. And so we've used three of our own custom extras on this one photograph. Remember, you can access your extras from your extras manager by going to file, manage extras, or you can again use that specific filter to import that custom extra. So for example, if you have a texture, you can go into your textures, choose import, and then you can access your own custom textures from your computer's finder or navigator and then import those into the program. And one last thing I wanted to mention when it comes to using creative extras is how to use custom brush shapes. One really common way to use custom brush shapes is to paint in clouds into skies. So let's import our own custom brush shapes and then we'll drop a cloud into our sky here to give the scene a little bit of interest. So I'm going to go to File, Manage Extras, and we'll go to our Brush Shapes, and we're going to choose Import. I'll navigate to some custom brush shapes here, these cloud brushes. You can see it's the .abr file there, so we're going to select that. We could choose import there. And it looks like I've already imported these, but I'll just name it a new category so that you can see. And I'll just name it second cloud brush set. So I'll choose okay. You can see it's imported all of those different cloud brushes into the scene. And let's see if they're the same. Oh, it may not be the same there. So have a different set of cloud brushes there. But you can see in these two categories, I can view that preview to the right there. So what we're going to do to brush a cloud into the sky here is we're actually going to use the local adjustments tab rather than using effects. And in this adjustment here, I'll just rename this cloud brush. 
what we want to do within our local adjustment is we're going to head down to this paint with color option. We're going to select that. And now we can use a specific color to paint in those cloud brushes into our sky. Now, depending on your scene, you could either use pure white for the clouds or a specific color from your image. Now, if you're using a specific color from your image, I would highly recommend using a color dropper to select that specific color in your scene. So I'm gonna open up my color dialog, this colors dialog, where I can select a specific color. And I'm actually going to use this color dropper here at the bottom. That way it magnifies in on the scene a bit and I can find this little cloud section at the bottom right and I'll drop it on that specific color there. So it's selected that color. Now I'm gonna go up to my brush shape and I'll scroll down to those cloud brushes. And I'll just grab an interesting cloud for the scene here. Maybe this one there. And when we're using custom brush shapes, we always want our feathering to be at zero. That way you can see the detail within that custom brush. I'll make my opacity to 100 there. I'll use the right bracket key to increase the size. And I'm just going to paint this into the scene there. So that's how to use custom brush shapes. Remember, import the .abr file, and then you can use the paint with color option within your local adjustments to paint those custom brush shapes into your scene with specific colors. So that's how to use Creative Extras inside of On One Effects 2023. Stay tuned for the next lesson on using effects to stylize your photographs.